Hello again and welcome. This is Michael Pizzola here, author of the best-selling Handicapping Magic and Pace Makes the Race, creator and inventor of the original online racing form. I'm president and CEO of Post Time Solutions and we publish Post Time Daily 2.0 and Black Magic, the ultimate handicapper software. Today I'd like to give you a little tutorial on how to download your files using Post Time Daily 2.0. And I've got to tell you, this is really simple to do. I want you to uh, go ahead and open up your Post Time Daily 2.0. And let me make this really big so you can see it. And we start with a blank slate. And let me bring this over so it's nice and centered. Doesn't that just look beautiful? Now, those of you who remember, in the old days, we used to have to go to the... Um, website, whatever the website was, and uh, we'd have to go and uh, here's here's the current post time website. You can still do this where you have to go and get a file and then you have to import the file and then you'd have to export the file and all of that. Well, post time daily 2.0. I mean, there's so many features that I can spend time um, showing you and we we have try to make this as easy to use, as simple as possible, because look, if you're like me, you're not interested in, um, you know, becoming a computer expert, geek and how to use all this software and neat features. No, we want a handicap, we want a value cap, we want to find good value bets at the races. So we don't want to get bogged down in all this techno babble. So let me show you how easy we've made the downloading process. You can either go to your menu here where it says tools and then download past performances or see that little button that says download and it's really cool if you hover your mouse on top of it, it will say download past performances. You just click on that and lo and behold, you, you, you'll get a, a screen there with all of the tracks running in North America. We have our data from the Equibase company. Uh, Equibase company is the uh, industry uh, leader and in fact the source of record of all thoroughbred data. And we get every track. We're a value-added reseller of Equibase. We have been since 1999 and um, th their data is just and their quality assurance and all is just absolutely first rate. We get our files up early uh, you'll uh, at least 24 hours in advance of the race, usually before that. Um, and it will even tell you if the file is complete. In other words, if the saddle cloth is in. So if I were to go to another day, let's say Friday, the four, today is January 1st, 2013. If I wanted to look for files on January 4th, 2013, look at that. Charlestown has the saddle cloth in it. Delta Downs has the saddle cloth in it. Aqueduct doesn't. What does that mean? What well, means you can start handicapping Friday's races on today, Tuesday. And even if you get a file that doesn't have the saddle cloth, you can go back and re-download that file at no charge. And you'd have all the information you have. But if uh, there are, you know, several tracks, Charlestown, Delta Downs, Fairgrounds, Sunland, Tampa Bay Downs, all of which already have the complete files. And it's, that's on Friday, and today's only Tuesday. So let's go back to Tuesday, and you'll notice there are uh, 10 tracks listed, uh, nine tracks listed. You can select them all, or you can just pick a few. And let's say we were, wanted to take Aqueduct and Gulfstream and San Anito. Let's take those three racetracks. Now watch this. If you're used to um, going through and going to get the file and importing and doing all of that, uh, this is going to seem like magic. You click OK. Don't blink. And then you see where it says downloading down there. What you will see is a little progress bar. It's done. They're downloaded, they're imported, and now you have all of the tracks and then all of the races there. Now, the first time, I should tell you, the first time you go to download, it will ask you for your user ID and password. And then after that, Guess what? It remembers it, but the first time. And if you don't have an account, if you don't have a user ID and password, you can go to posttimedaily.com and look for uh, open an account or click on the upper 
right hand side of the um, website and clicks on login and then there's an option there for you to to open up an account and uh, you can access your account from the <laughs> that little um, this little uh, my account button here right from within the program so it's a uh, it's just a really simple really easy to use program and that's how you download your files using Post Time Daily 2.0. This is Michael Pozzola here saying, let the bet make you, and I will see you soon.